I'm let y'all know right now. Y'all can bookmark this. You can screen <laughs> oh, record it. Save down his receipt. Jante Wester, first team All Conference receiver, leading the country in receiving yards. And I think I know he has the ability to be a Belitnikov finalist for top receiver in the country. Go ahead, mark it down. Film don't lie. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Back again. What's up, Buff Nation? Yes, sir. DT the fan, T Calvin, busy. Bro, <laughs> I can't Twitter. wait for this one. <laughs> I I cannot wait for this one. <clears throat> this is gonna be the video. Well, first, we, we, I'm just gonna let y'all know we breaking down Lejante Wester. The guy who is a monster, an absolute monster. We had released a video on him. I think as soon as he committed, back when we had like two subscribers and two views. So most of y'all probably didn't see it. But it was just off of some highlights that we had seen of him. So then, you know, we're going through all the transfer players, all the recruits, and all the current players and breaking down their actual film. He jumped off tape. Like, and let me let me pull this up just so you guys can see. So he had 108 receptions. I think that was second in the country. 1,168 receiving yards. That was top 15 in the country and eight touchdowns. Stats can lie. A lot of people say numbers don't lie. <laughs> yeah, but they can. Um, it depends yeah. on that competition. Yeah. Exactly. It depends on the competition. Stats mm -hmm. can lie. People see FAU. That's the first thing they say. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. These stats did lie. His stats could have been much better. And I'm talking about <laughs> against the top teams. I'm talking about against Power 5 Illinois, Power 5 Clemson. He missed a lot of stats in here. And you're going to see this dude is a monster. And this is going to be the video y'all send everybody when they talk about CU or y'all didn't get better. Mm -hmm. Just bookmark this video. Make sure this is the one that you send because I promise it's going to give you every single thing you need. He's that guy, so, right? Man. And CT hasn't seen any of the film yet. So I have he's not be reacting live just with you. Oh, man. You know what that means. <laughs> so uh, before we get into this, we're about to get into the video and pull it up. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe and watch this video. Yes. Don't stop it early. Make sure you keep watching this video so because, you guys can see what I see. Right, because we're feeling you. We're giving you that information you need because, you know, Colorado got a lot of haters. So, you know what I'm saying? A you lot. say, hey, I'm going to send you this video. <laughs> Let them see this talent. Absolutely. And, again, this is coming from somebody that played DB. And this is all I used to watch is slot receivers and receivers because that's who I'm guarding every week. He, he's a problem. He's that guy. He's let's that, get into look, it. Look, he got T. Cal speechless. He's that guy. Man. <laughs> so right here, they one thing I like that FAU did with him, and this is him versus Clemson. Um, they put him in situation. They try to get him the ball. Mm. He's their best playmaker. He was an All American returner last year. They're trying to get him the ball in space. So right here, I believe they're going to hit him with a little little jet sweep. Mm -hmm. And this on mm -hmm. third and short, I believe, makes the move. Look at that. Hold on. Wow. Look at wow. this cut already. Look how fast he is. He's, I mean, he's fast in slow motion. Great cut. Gets the first down. Great play for them. Second and short. Now, in this first quarter, this isn't second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. This isn't no backups. These are their starters. Here he is right here. I'm just going to let the clip play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, off to the races. He's gone. Overthrown. Oh, no. No Let's look at this separation. Coming to Shador. <laughs> Let's this look at this separation. Clemson. Against Clemson. This is early in the game. This is where they at. This is about a 63 yard touchdown if he throws it right. The he clearly didn't watch film because mm -hmm. there's no way you should let him eat up your cushion like this and you haven't opened to start running with him. Right here, it's a wrap. A good quarterback, no, hey, time to let it go. Mm -hmm. he's cooked mm -hmm. gets on top keeps running slightly overthrown man Shadur makes that throw yeah easy easy hands down he makes that throw so that's about 65 yards missed from these stats don't worry mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna do a little running tally to see how many yards missed from this this game overthrown wide open oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see where he is right here. Okay, so he's right here. He's going to run a low drag concept. Mm -hmm. Makes a move. Gets about probably nine yards on it. Good play. Yeah, he's, when, yeah he's, when, when he's in space, it's a tough, it's a tough task to get him down. He's definitely their guy, though. <laughs> yes, he is. Let's see where he's at right here. It's right here in the slot. It's a post, takes that post for 20. Close to it. Let's go back a little bit. Watch this again. Yes, yeah, so he's right here in the slot. The run of the zone. Looks like somebody made a bust, makes a play even after he catches it, gets an extra five yards, making a move on the safety. Mm. And in this game, he had 12 catches for 108 against Clemson. Wow. And that's not including the 65 yarder he should have. Bro, he's really quick, really, really, really quick. Let's see this next play. So we are we're in the second quarter. This looks like this is him right here in the slot up top. Quarterback not looking his way. Not at all. DB, DB's killed on the speed out. Absolutely killed. Wide open. Quarterback doesn't look his way. And Quarterback got, matters. <laughs> yeah, it does matter. And if LeJante... If I know who LeJounte is as my quarterback and I know that he's somebody that is honestly unguardable in man mm -hmm. coverage, especially off man coverage, anytime I think they might be a man, I'm looking at him. He has to be my first read if I know he's a guy always capable of getting open. Here's another one. <clears throat> so let me see what they were running right here. Let's see. So they're either running. It looks like they're doing cloud to this side, which is cover two to this side and something else over here, or it could be a man coverage match, but it's going to end up playing out these three on these three. So what they're doing and what this is made for. So this is a flood concept on offense. And that's you're getting somebody to a flat and they're getting a deep corner um, past them. So what's supposed to happen right here, this is Lejante, is quarterback. Let me see when he throws it right here. Let me give him a little more time. So quarterback right here, you're reading this. He's already ready to break on this. Mm -hmm. He's just waiting for the quarterback to release. But LeJante, as we keep seeing, is going to get enough depth for him to be open. Now, we can't truly say that this guy wasn't going to be anywhere in the area because he's playing him doing this. But as you see how it plays out, had he been more patient, LeJante is going to come wide open. And if he even waits, he makes this guy make a decision to where if this guy does drop off to LeJante, mm -hmm. now this guy's going to be able to catch the ball and have running room. But since he threw it so early and didn't let the play develop, we couldn't see it. But if he throws it to LeJante, this is at least a 15 yard game. Mm. We'll be able to see it from this angle. Yeah, and I'm sorry, this 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 quarterback, I've seen other games. Mm -mm. LeJounte did a lot with what he had, right. to say the least. And he's getting a clear upgrade. And, and you see right here, ain't nobody getting to him. Nobody's getting to him. And knowing him, when he get that ball, he going to make the first guy miss. Mm -hmm. Again, he's an All-American returner. How you get to being that is always making the first guy miss. <laughs> so we're still in the first half. Obviously, Clemson's putting it on him, but it's still all starters in the game. Let's see. He's right here in the slot. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Bro, do you see the <laughs> safety trying to cover him? What, what is this? Hold on. We are on the 50. It's another 50-yard touchdown. Watch how he stems him and does him just so nasty. So it's a it's a seam route, but 
he gives him this post stem right here. Mm -hmm. Stem him inside and then dips on him. Ooh. He would have hit his head on the goalpost. Ooh. He would have hit his head on the goalpost. That is elite route running ability. And on something that you see with him is he never changes speed during his routes. Like in and out of his breaks, everything, it's all full speed. And that's something you love to see out of your receiver. We're going to watch this again. Coming up inside stem, bam, right past him, 50-yard touchdown. Now, obviously, FAU's offensive line can't hold up to Clemson, which ours probably wouldn't have either last year. But <clears throat> the thing that you have to see with him <clears throat> is you're seeing him get open consistently. Right, right, right. One of the in top Clemson, teams in the country, right. some of the top players against mm -hmm. the country. It's not like, oh, he's just catching the ball out of the backfield when no one's on him. No, he's separating. He is creating separation. By miles, bro. By miles. Right here, he's in the slot. I believe he's going to run a dig on this play, which is an in-breaking route around 10 to 15. Bam. Open. Completely breaks him off right here. And this is a great route. Let me let me, let me go with the route a little bit. Let me go with the route. So he's coming up field. And when... He stems in like it's a post, but what he does that is so hard on this play is as a DB, if a guy starts stemming in like that, I'm going to try to put some body weight on him because I'm figuring he's running inside. And a lot of receivers, especially would think somebody his size would, you know, succumb to that and let the DB put the weight on him. But what he does is he leans back against them and then uses his weight against them and breaks off right there. That's why you see he gets the so separation. much separation. Yeah. As he comes here, bam, breaks off and wide open across the field. And again, we can just add 15 yards for this, but he get the ball right here and make this guy miss, it's off to the races. Best this is Clemson. Got the time. Right. For, Clemson. for everybody saying, oh, he's playing group of five, this is Clemson. This is not group of five. Bam. You can see it right there again at the top. See, he's leaning on him. Ah, broken off. Separation. Get him the ball. Please get him the ball. Get him the ball. All right, this looks like we got him right here. Puts him in motion. Now they're in trips. Oh, my gosh, this one. So he runs an angle route right here. So Clemson's playing man coverage. I've talked to you about this before on a video. This is a man coverage beater. So what they're playing right here, teams call it a whole bunch of different things. But in man coverage, anytime you're facing a bunch, mm -hmm. you're going to do some type of triple check versus it or a bunch check. So... Most teams I've played on, we've called it bracket. There's uh, traffic, a um, bunch of different things. Basically what it means, this guy is going to take the point, man. So mm -hmm. they're locked up. These two, you see them looking at each other right now, they're communicating. He's responsible for the first outside. He's responsible for the first inside. Why this is a man beater. Okay, so this is actually something we ran at uh, – that Charles Kelly and his defense, we call this top hat. So what top hat means, it's still going to be the same thing, three on three. This guy gets up and press, but he does not press the first person. He's going to take the second receiver. And then the – so he's taking whatever second receiver, and then these guys are still going to in and out combo coverage, whoever goes in and out first. So watch it play out. So he's taking him. Mm, yep. He has the most vertical because this is the most inside threat right now. And then he has Lejante because the most outside threat. Simple. But Lejante doesn't go outside and breaks back inside. So now this is his man, but he has to get to him from all the way over here. Again, a quarterback before the play. I know Lejante has an angle route. I can see their man coverage. Why are you not looking here? Bro, look at all this space. Oh, wow. This yeah. might be a touchdown. Yeah. Look at all this space he has. Why are you trying to throw a contested pass down the sideline when your best receiver is right here? Look, and I think that's a touchdown if he get it. Let's give him 20 yards. So we got the 50-yard bomb, 
We got the 65 yard bomb. That's 115. We got the dig for another 15. That's 130. We got this for another 20. That's 150 yards right there. Minimum just from those. And we're talking about catches and yards that he didn't even get. We're not even talking about the 12 didn't, and the 108. Didn't, didn't even get the chance for him. Exactly. Right. That's crazy. It, it, it'd be one thing if we were like, oh, he had the opportunity to get 100 mm -hmm. yards against Clemson. No, he he got the 100 yards. He had an opportunity to get 250. He had an opportunity <laughs> to make national news. Yeah, I think, and I, that's what's good about this film breakdown that you get to see. Like, you're not just saying, like, you can't look at the film and deny, like, man, this guy was just a quarterback play away. He gone. <laughs> he just yeah, gone. Yeah, like, you can see it. It's clear. <laughs> and this is good coverage by this corner right here. And LeJounte still comes down with the catch. Now, what I hate, and I'm going to talk about it a lot with the film we have coming up with the film from last year. I'm sure Coach Prime hates it, too. I think I might have heard him say it. There's no reason to get in press coverage if you're not going to use your hands. Right. right. There's no reason. If you're going to get up there in a dude's face, use your hands. That's the point of press. But, guys, like, you're doing nothing right here at all. I, what I do like right now is he's staying square. And I'll talk about that more as we break down RDBs. But. He's staying square, so that's good. Gets his hand on him. Again, LeJounte breaks off. He keeps his body position, goes up, makes the catch. And as you can see, it's a first down catch. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Easy money. He's been playing outside receiver. I think he's going to play slot for us, but uh, there's been a lot of conversation about that. And I told people, I, I've seen a lot of film of him playing outside he doesn't he's not just a slot receiver if he has to play outside he's gonna play outside he's gonna make plays here he is right here again they're trying to put him in formations where they can get him the ball tell me he gets this catch tell me the quarterback throws him the ball not even looking his way wow mm. bro <laughs> people thought i was just talking when i said he could add an extra 150 i'm being generous <laughs> he, it it might have been extra 200. Why are you not looking his way? Right here, this play's done. His back turn. He's trying to speed turn. He don't know what's going on. LeJounte catch this, make a cut up. Field. He's gone. Hey, you know what? I appreciate this quarterback. He's the reason LeJounte's coming to Colorado. Yeah, that's a fact. That is a oh, fact. No, no. That's right what about this film that. breakdown is telling me. I understand I, now, LeJounte. <laughs> like you just took a little two yard route when <laughs> let me see if I can find where he is on this one I think this is him here yeah so this is great I like his understanding of the, of the game now I didn't play offense in college so I'm not sure what they would technically call this to me it's an option route versus zone so we're going to see him. He has an over route right now. They're in zone. Now, since they played this side so bad, he could have kept running and got the catch. Really, you don't keep running unless it's man, because if it's man, you're able to run, basically just outrun the guy across the field. Mm -hmm. But in zone, there's always holes right here, right here. They're playing this wrong, so there's none right here. That's why if he kept running, he would have been good. But he can't see that from that side of the field. So what he does is, hey, here's the hole in the zone. I'm going to sit right here, give my quarterback a chance, make the catch. Get that easy first Again, down. Again, another first down. Easy first down. This football you knowledge. You'll see it better from You've this seen angle. this football knowledge. You see LeJon Taylor. Yeah, exactly. He this football. And he knows that right here. He's looking at 22. When he sees 22 not look at him, he knows he's not playing him. Sit down. Got it. Great catch. Secure the catch. Get the first. Hey, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. If y'all yes. not liking this film, and don't worry, the film continues to get better. I just wanted to show uh, his game against the top competition. So all that, oh, it's just a competition, could get thrown out the water. But yeah. this film's only going to get better. I mean, his biggest, uh, um, from watching this film, his biggest <laughs> is his quarterback play. <laughs> you know? We know it's, that's well upgraded now. So they throw it to him here. Again, they do this little formation where he's uh, basically a wing player. He's right off of the tackle's hip. <laughs> they give him a little quick wheel route just to get him in space. 
the yeah. ball and makes the catch. All that respect he gets from Clemson's defense. <laughs> oh, you know, Clemson respected him. Well, sometimes because they left him one on one. You saw how that get, but well, you I know, promise you, they know who this even though the quarterback was. wasn't seeing them, the the D coordinator for Clemson, the secondary's coach was like, "Hey, this dude's killing us." Yeah, here he mm-hmm. is, bro. Did I say just an extra one fifty? Look at, <laughs> bro. Look at this. Man, he's so fast off the line, so we got him right right up here in the slot. So watch, he's going to take his inside stem, get vertical, bam. Right here, this safety's cooked. Yeah. All cooked. the way. Look, <laughs> your legs should never look like this. <laughs> oh, that spread eagle. That's your legs that legs should, never, should never look at it. He's stumbling trying to catch up. Your legs should never look like that. Quarterback, bro, no. He's not, he's not being pressured like that. Lejante's already open. The ball should he be just, thrown he right here. He's flat. taking the check down. Yeah, he's taking the check down. <laughs> quarterback plays matter. I'm telling you, quarterback play matter. Yes, it does. And we all know Shadur likes to look that keep that will keep his eyes down the field. Ah, man, it was cut off on that. I thought we were gonna be able to see it on the tight. Okay, we got him down here. Let's see what he got. Put him in motion. Get him out to the flat. Good catch. Love it. Eight-yard game. And as much as the quarterback isn't looking for him in the situations he needs to be, what I like about this offense, this is what I felt like we should do against Oregon. Mm -hmm. Get our guys the ball quickly and in space. If we believe our playmakers are superior, we got to get the ball quick. It can't be these. Uh, long, long developing, developing plays, routes, the yeah, wide exactly. receiver options. You know, we got to get on. You got to, you got to get them in space. It. We got them up here, right here. Great route, great catch. I let it play all the way through. Again, another first down. As you can see, he's getting a lot of first down catches. Mm-hmm. So he's right here in the slot. And as you see, look at the way he can go from full speed to dropping down at the stop of a dime and then accelerating again. That's a special and elite skill that he has. Watch it here. That is t- nothing he can do on that. Take and cut. let me watch him. On that cut. Yeah, it's crazy. So he's playing. He He's a little slow on his break. The reason he is is because he's seeing LeJounte humming down the field. So in his mind, he's getting ready to have to open up and run. He's about mm-hmm. one step from opening up and running, and then he just watches him break down and explode out of the break. That's a great route. That's a great play. Again, against Clemson. So watch him here. Great, bro. He there's no wasted movement at all. In and out of his break, no wasted movement. Great, great play, great catch. Oh, we going to Illinois? <clears throat> Hold on, and because I had people telling me he was doing this stuff against uh, backups. That's number thirty six. Number 36, got him on the roster. That is Khalil Barnes, the starting nickelback. Not second <laughs> string, not that's the starting nickelback. When they gonna learn T Cal keep them receipts. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, that's that's the starting nickel right there. That's who he's doing that against. Against Clemson starting Damn. nickel. All right, now we're to Illinois. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it. You, you, you just gotta see. <laughs> Let me see where he's at on this. I can tell you where he's at just, just by seeing the way he run. He's right down here. Playing outside. Let's see what he got. Again. Is he open or am I tripping? Man, he's look at the state. He got the whole state open. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the quarterback Right here, he's not getting to it. He he's not making that play right now. No, I can promise you he's not making that play. 
he's definitely not making that play. You know what's crazy? It's like, where's all the other receivers at? <laughs> it's like five defensive backs, so I'm going to Lejante. Mm-hmm, literally. So what's happening right here, this receiver has no use. And again, same thing I was talking about, bracket coverage, how they're basing it off. Of, he's going to lock up on him. These two are going to take these uh, two on two. Mm-hmm. He's going to take the most inside. He's going to take the most outside. Now, what happens is they both go vertical. Once they both go vertical, you got to lock on your man. There's no more switching. All right, he's yours. And you see, so all he's doing is wasting time at the line of scrimmage. He's just wasting time to for him to get a clear out. And this is another flood concept. And then he runs this route. The timing of this is very, very imperative to the success of su- success of it. Watch how he runs this right off of his honorable mission. So Lejante still talking to stuff. Here he is on 14 in the slot. Bro, when you see this route. Cooked. Oh, man. He left his soul, cooked. his body, and everything. <laughs> Absolutely cooked. This oh, is crazy. Man. So he comes in, does a hard inside fake. Ah, ah. Bro, Ooh, ankles, knees, everything gone. Again, this is a Big Ten All Conference honorable mention DB. This is not no scrub. Yeah, I think Schumer is gonna Bro. um work with him. He's gonna get him the ball. <laughs> that's that's the only key. Get him the ball. Hmm. Bro, this is so bad. This looked like they was playing zone coverage. <laughs> that's how bad he was beat. He was mad too. You seen him jump over there. Was like, uh oh, man, you, that's how bad I he mean, was beat. I'm that, excited that about see what he's gonna do for the uh, special teams. You know, because a lot of people forget yeah. that special teams could change the whole field position, could change the whole game. But and I saw people wanting him to play kick return. Mm-hmm. I don't. At his size, kick return. Anytime you catch the ball, you're gonna take a mean hit, mm-hmm. and you don't want like that's why in the NFL you see a lot of running backs, backup running backs, uh, backup safeties that are fast play kick return because they have bigger body types. Uh, that's why you saw uh, Devin Hester focus more on punt returns. That's why coach prime ended up doing more punt returns. Punt returns right. Deshaun Jackson, because yeah, you don't want to have yet. Yeah, you don't want to have that type of toll constantly taken on those body types getting hit. Cause we need them for other things. Mm-hmm. So here we go. We got a little clearer film so I can see. This is him right here. Uh, by the way, that Illinois game, 13 catches, 137 receiving yards, and a touchdown. So <laughs> two two power five games, he had 15 Over 100 catches yards. for 150. Or 250. 15, wow. or 25 catches for 250 against two power five schools. But don't worry. He, he's just a group of five guy. He only we're, put up those we're, passes. We're below average quarterback five. play. We're below average quarterback play. Let's call it high. So let's see him in the slot right here. Open. I mean, are you guys starting to get the theme of this? He's always open. 7-Eleven. Always open. <laughs> now you understand why Shadur say, hey, LeJante, <laughs> get your butt over here to buff. Always open. Right here. Let's see where he's at. Okay, he's right here. <clears throat> So these are three plays in a row. No cuts, no nothing. I'm just going to let you watch these three plays. This is, this shows me everything I needed to see about them just in these three plays. It looks like it got choppy. So here we go. We got him right up here. I'm just going to roll. Makes a catch, takes a big hit out of bounds. We'll be able to see it from this angle. He's right here. Again, they try to put him in situations where they can get him the ball in space, which is smart. Mm-hmm. Big hit. Next play. First and 10. We got him going to motion right here. Comes up. Runs a dig. Goes up for it. Drops the ball. It's a tough catch, but one that he wants to come down with. No, I agree 100%. Here it is. Tough catch, but, you know, we got to come down with that. Next play. 
in the slot. I'm the best player on the field. <laughs> he does. So we just watched him take a huge hit, come back the next play, get a drop, which can mess with people's mental, f- affect their confidence. Next play, touchdown. Double coverage. Thank Boom. you. Thank you. Yeah, he's special. He got That's it. That's what elite dogs do. That's what elite players do. He makes plays. This game is against Charlotte. He went for uh, 10 catches for 149 yards, two touchdowns. Wow. Yo, so here he's in the slot. Being able to play alongside like Travis, Will Shepard. <clears throat> See, people mention those like that's gonna be a deterrent. No, I that's think it's gonna, gonna open up great. the field yeah, more. That's for gonna, him. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a Actually, that's a huge plus. I think it's gonna be a plus for them too, because he's gonna open up the field for exactly for everybody. Dude. Yeah. And a- when when I was watching his film, what I kept seeing is look at how he explodes off the ball. It's a different speed. Mm-hmm. It's every time you see him, it's like he's just flashing off the screen. He can run. He's so explosive. And his yeah, routes doesn't change speed. I'm here. Yeah, like, he look at it. that route. Look at how explosive he is through all of his breaks. There's no slowing down. He's not DK Metcalf where he got to put a turn signal on before he breaks. No, he's in and out. Like he is. Quick, 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 super excited. If you think about <laughs> how many receivers have ran 4-2, almost all of them haven't been successful in the NFL. And mm. it's because just because you have that speed doesn't mean that you're able to control it and use it effectively. In and out. Same with DBs. If you look at all the DBs that have ran 4-2, a lot of them have been trash because even though they're that fast, they can't control it. They can't use it efficiently. Mm. That's the difference is when you can use your speed efficiently, that changes everything. Yeah, that, that's run by doing. hand up. I'm open. I'm open. Touchdown. Just Don't worry. Easy. I know. I know he said out. Touchdown. Easy money. <laughs> easy money. <laughs> and the score before that play was 14 to six. Now it's 21 to six. Just so somebody. Oh, no, they didn't. No, yeah. it was a touchdown. Goodness gracious. So <laughs> this is a funny play, bro. <clears throat> This is man coverage. Either this guy didn't know it was man coverage or he got beat so bad that he wanted it to look like zone. I've seen both happen. I've seen the (laughs) latter happen a lot. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Bro, look at this. Gave him that stick. I think he's playing man. I think he got beat so bad and knew that there's nothing else he could do no great route great catch and i'm gonna show you how i know it's man like, this isn't something that i'm guessing this is man coverage so right here this this is how you can see that it's man coverage so he's a man he's a man these safeties it looks like cover two man and then they are, look like they're playing two on two with this tight end and this running back so as you see the play fold out that tight end blocks, which makes him free. Running back runs this way, which means he has to pick him up. So he becomes a robber. Everybody else is a man. So he's a man. This isn't this isn't a situation where, oh, no, this was a special zone. Nah, that's his man. Mm-hmm. He just got cooked and was like, hey, instead of trying to check. Bro, look at this. <laughs> Watch he what got- he does right here. He tries <laughs> to react late like, oh, there he goes. No, <laughs> you knew <laughs> you knew that was your man. You knew that's your man the whole time. Hey, you can't get don't be bad. Let that guy do his acting though. Get him a little get him man, off there. So fantastic acting. <laughs> fantastic. Hey, coach, I thought it was cover three. No, you didn't. <laughs> always open. That's what LeJounte Wester is. Always open. Let's see where he's at right here. I think this is him up here. Yep. Gets a screen. Takes it for almost 20 yards. We'll man, from this you, man. I just want the ball in his hands. I don't care how we have to do it. Just please get the ball in his hands. You hear that, Shadur? This... You hear that? T oh, Cap is making a plea uh, to you. Shadur is lobbying for him. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I know you lobbying for him to come, to come over and over. Shadur knows. And just, just so we can see the stats from last year, since people told me that he wouldn't be all Big 12, he would have been all Big 12 last year. He had 108 catches, 
he had 1168 receiving yards. So he's leading both of these categories already locked in and has eight touchdowns. Only person with more touchdowns than him didn't have over a thousand yards. So last year in FAU's offense, I showed you just versus Clemson where he missed out on at least 200 yards extra yeah. he could have had. Yeah. He could have went for 250, 300 on Clemson. Easy. Illinois, he could have. And those are just the games I watched. So if he was missing out on those yards versus Clemson, how many yards do you think he was missing out versus Rice, Lane, <laughs> Eastern Carolina, Tulsa? Like, insane. And this is... This is where he finished in his conference, number one in receiving yards, number one in catches, and he was number three, I believe, in touchdowns. But these stats, he's he's placing the Big 12. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Y'all can bookmark this. You can screen <laughs> oh, record it, save it. his receipt. Jante Wester, first team all-conference receiver, leading the country in receiving yards, and I think – I know he has the ability to be a Belitnikov finalist for top receiver in the country. Go ahead, mark it down. Film don't lie. Uh, I never Numbers can lie sometimes. Out so well. well, I've heard you pretty Film sure. Film doesn't lie. Yeah, a so. dog. A, a straight dog. absolute dog. dog. He going to have so, fun. Should Shador going to put them numbers up on him? Bro, I can't wait to see what he does in this offense. And his speed, again, his control when he's running his routes – his understanding of how to run the routes, of how to sit in the zone. Those are things that are huge. He's there early. Shador is going to be able to build that relationship mm. with him. People were talking about how Shador, whenever he got in trouble, he looked for Travis. That's what he's supposed to do. It's the only receiver he played more than a year with before. Mm -hmm. Any quarterback in the history of football, you're going to, Look to a certain receiver when you get in trouble situations. Patrick because Holmes, that's yeah, that, always yeah, Travis Kelsey. That's who you're comfortable with, right? But teams can't. How are teams going to play man coverage against us? Impossible. Because I was going to say, right. when you go four wide, you tell me how you going to stop four wide. Jimmy and Lejante in this in the slot. Will Shepard and Travis outside. Who? What are y'all going to do? <laughs> like it's, And then not even trying to stop that. Put them four wide. Now we get Alton McCaskill running. Dylan Edwards. Field spread out wide. Lejante is a guy that can take the top off of a defense. And that's what Bass is. When you got guys that can take the top off of a defense, that completely changes how you're able to play. That's exactly and people right. don't realize how much that goes into the game plan on defense. I remember times where my junior year, I was still at safety. I hadn't moved to nickel yet. And we would, certain games, if there was a guy that just had that game-breaking speed, we would alter our complete defense and have it to where I had to shade over to that guy's side because we knew we had guys that couldn't uh, run with him. Now, my senior year when I went to nickel, my coach had to do that a few times. And I told him in front of everybody, no, hell no. <laughs> Bro, I, I tell the safety, go over there. Bye. Mm -hmm. He's mine. I'm good. <laughs> but I also wasn't guarding Lejante Wester. Like right. His receipt, like, I, bro, I've watched so much film of receivers in my life. Mm -hmm. So much film. When I tell you guys he's elite, I mean he is elite. You guys have to be excited about this. He's an alpha dog have to be he's a dog he makes the play and the way i can tell that you're a dog is what you do against the big schools when you're right, coming from that right because th those are the games for me i was like when we played auburn when mm -hmm. we played uab was a bigger school for that's when i'm locked in i can't wait to shine against these guys right some of his best games were against clemson and illinois the two power five schools like he had great stats 25 catches 250 receiving yards and a touchdown against the two power five opponents. How can you not be excited about this guy? Right. And you guys seen the quarterback play. So you can clearly see he's getting a major upgrade from that Super quarterback upgrade. to Shadur, right? So, and then he's getting plenty he gets to play with better players around him. So that's just, yeah, man, this offense is going to be something prolific.